based on the numbers, it seems that the Philippine economy is doing well. But if you take a look at the, the uh, different elements uh, com uh, comprising uh, this economic performance, I think what should be really uh, a, a signal if we are doing really well is the foreign direct investments. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it, uh, as pointed out by many economic experts already, the foreign direct investments in the Philippines is quite low compared to the uh, other neighboring countries that we have. Uh, I think a large part of the success in our economy uh, is no secret to anyone, and that is because of our OFWs and the remittances that they give uh, to our country. Yes, sir. Um, you did say that, and the main drivers of our economic growth really are the OFW remittances and the services sector, um, our business process outsourcing. Um, do you think, sir, that our future growth relying on these sectors, like you said, is it sustainable as we go forward? And aside from that, how do we address the fact that despite the high growth as said in the numbers, there are also high levels of underemployment, unemployment, poverty, and inequality amongst the citizens? Uh, well, uh, definitely I don't agree that we should keep with the status quo mm -hmm. because first of all, we should provide employment. Uh, secondly, we should provide an option to our OFWs uh, to return back to the Philippines. The key to this whole thing is really for me to decongest mm -hmm. the metropolitan areas. Right now, the center of growth is really metropolitan areas. Mm -hmm. Metro Manila, Cebu City, Davao City, but I think the prime example would be Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes to Metro Manila. That's why uh, right now we, we encounter all these traffic problems uh, because everyone goes here, everyone th thinking that this is where uh, th their fortunes will be made. Mm -hmm. But it, it's high time that we develop our countryside, uh, the provinces, the rural areas. Yes. And in this respect, we will not be able to expect private business to be the, the drivers of this thing. Mm -hmm. The driver should be government. And uh, government should start uh, making a move to uh, invest infrastructure in our provinces. As a first example, I think we should really seriously consider transferring either the international, domestic, or both to nor central or northern Luzon. I think the facilities there are already set up. If we do that, I think uh, central Luzon, northern Luzon will be another cent a center of growth where in private, uh, after government comes in, private sector will be willing to invest and we will have industries not only in Metro Manila but most especially in uh, the rural or uh, the rural uh, or provinces that we have. Secondly, we should develop the TNR station connecting the north to the south from Pangasinan all the way to Matnog Sorsogon. I think that will also cut down the cost for many of our farmers and that will also provide, if it's a fast train, uh, an alternative uh, place wherein uh, people working in Metro Manila can actually live in, in the provinces mm -hmm. and uh, take that train going to Metro Manila to work here and go home, just as in other jurisdictions.